what's good everybody welcome 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 back to my channel for the ones that are new welcome to nelly's tarot and more like share and subscribe so all your friends can find out about what is good for the last weekend of february 2020 pisces happy birthday to you <laughs> i'm a pisces so you know but you know this was for the effects yes as usual for the weekend readings we use the happy thoughts cards nice messages for everybody regardless if your week was good or bad how you all doing i hope you're doing great i hope this spicy season and Mercury retrograde is treating you good. Treating you wonderful. Your girl is going out tonight. <laughs> so you know. You know how you guys before going to the gym, you have like the, the pre workout. <laughs> this is not my pre workout. I put a Rocher for Ferrero and I also put Bunch of Crunch. <laughs> That's what I do with my Irish cream. Anyways, I missed you all. I got people hitting me up. What's good? Is everything okay? Everything is great. Last week was vacation. Even though they were on vacation, I had two with strep throat. Then I got it. I gotta wipe my nose as we speak. Because I still have a little bit. Just a little runny nose. That's about it. You know? Then this week, I had two sick home. Wednesday was one of my kids' birthday. Now I got two eight-year-olds. Ooh, Aries, how many cards you have? You have three cards, Aries. The first one is, hold on. You see, I got my gray contacts. It's spice. It's my birthday season, baby. <laughs> so I need prescription to read. Let's see. Aries, your card says, the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. That is card number one, Aries. Card number two. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. That's what card number two said. And card number three goes, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So beautiful card, Aries. Beautiful cards. Okie dokie. I got sick too, but I'm feeling better. Just a little runny nose. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Mm. I put chocolate in there. Catch the bunch of crunch. <laughs> I do it with crunch bars too. But the crunch bar sinks, you know. This one and the Rocher from Ferrero is floating. Taurus, what's popping with you? For the last weekend of February 2020, I haven't even finished getting my nails done. I'll do it after this. So they can match with this purple. I have it somewhere. Yeah. And I gotta cut down 
so they can be all the same length. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how we are. Taurus! What's popping with shoes? For the last weekend of February 2020, March is this Sunday. You know, that's my birthday month, by the way. Woo-wee! March 17. Is this Queen's birthday? <sighs> you see how my shadow it moves? I thought <laughs> that happened to me on the daily basis. I see things. You know, I'm gifted. It's in the bloodline. I did not do anything but allow the universe to show me what I can do. Woo! <laughs> Taurus, where is your car? For the last weekend of February 2020. How many cards you got? You got three cards as well, Taurus. The first one is, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Aries got this card too. The second card goes, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. Here you have it. And last but not least is when I'm connected to my yoful presence, I attract support from the universe. Yoful presence. It's talking about self-love over there. Yes, it is. Woo-wee! Do you guys see the first episode from Underground? Underground is um, it's on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you'll automatically be able to watch it. It's the real story, real history of Spanish hip-hop. Three DJs. One movement from the island to the world on the ground. I'll leave the link down below. And if you don't have Prime, you should. It's, I was paying for it so I can get the benefit of next day shipping for a few things. But I just found out you can watch stuff too. I don't watch anything. I don't watch anything. No TV, nothing. Not even the news. Gemini, you have hope is the conduct for miracles. Yes, it is. You got to have that faith. You know, at least of the size of a grain of mustard. I hope I said it right because I'm trying to translate from Spanish to English. Un grano de mostaza. Cancer! What's papi with shoes? Cancerians, how you doing? <laughs> What's papi with shoes? For the last weekend of February 2020. We're going on the third month already. My birthday, baby. Yes, yes, yes. That's your card. Only one card, my love. Your card goes, in every moment, the universe is constantly, is conspiring. I'm sorry. It's not the same. It's not the same prescription. Because I have astigmatism, so I'm not supposed to be using color contacts. <laughs> it's okay. It's just the great ones. If you see me blonde with the blue contacts, then you're going to be like, oh, wait a minute. Rubia's back. You better watch out. 
Cancerian. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. That's what your card says, Cancerian. Let's go to Leo! They're not fighting. Leo. What's popping with my lions and lionesses for the last weekend of February 2020? So, yeah. This, the real history of Spanish hip-hop is the first episode so far. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see the whole season. You know? If I'm not mistaken, DJ Playero, DJ Negro, and DJ Eric, they, it's, it's a legit, it's a legit, um, it's the real history spoken by the horse's mouth. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That, you know, it's not somebody saying, oh, let's make this happen. Oh, yeah, let's write this. Oh, yeah. No, no. They are behind everything. To tell you the story just the way it is. Leo! You have energy flows where my intention goes. That is your card, baby, baby. Next, it's Virgos. What's popping with all my Virgos? For the weekend of February 28th to March 1st, 2020. This weekend, we having a break with birthdays. But next weekend is my daughter's. And then the following weekend, the following week is two birthdays. One on, on Thursday... And one on Friday. <laughs> yeah. And then mine is on the 17th. Yes. I'm doing something special. <clears throat> For the weekend after my birthday. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> Baby daddy wants to cancel the overnight. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Virgo. Virgo! You got two cards. Let's take it because the clock is ticking. One is my fate has the power. To turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. That's card number one, Virgo. Card number two. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. I think Syrian had this. There you have it, Virgo. Now we're going with Libra. What's popping with you, Libras? Oh, my beautiful, handsome people, of Libras. What's popping with you? On the last weekend of February 2020. Last weekend. Time is flying. Pretty soon it's gonna be Christmas. I'm just saying. Libra. You have. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. That is your card, Libra. 
starting out, let's go with Scorpios. What is popping with you? On the last weekend of February 2020. Time is flying. I'm saying. Salute to that. Is popping with you for the last weekend of February 2020. I <laughs> mm. Irish cream and the bunch of crunch, Scorpio. You have. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what it will manifest. Focus, baby. Focus. <laughs> now we're going with Saji. Saggy motherfucking Terrace. I love my Saggies. You know I do. What is popping with all of you? On the last weekend of February 2020. It is still cold too. Don't mind me. I'll drink my Jalcona too. This morning... I left <clears throat> to do errands. My kids didn't have snack for school. And by the time that we got to the bus stop, the bus was there. So it's like most of every morning we raced to that <laughs> bus stop. <laughs> oh my God. They didn't get to get any snacks. For school, so I went and got some. Because <clears throat> at the bus stop, there is a convenience store. So, I went and got some for them. And then I went and drop it off. And then I went to food shopping. Some errands. You know? Tomorrow is laundry, so... Tomorrow because I don't want to do anything, anything on Sunday. But do what I have to do with my kids. And the reading for the week. I'm still waiting for some new decks. So. Yep. And next week I'm going to start painting too. I want to paint the house before my birthday. Since I haven't found a new place, I'm going to get some furniture, you know. And then after that, when I move, I get new furniture. So what? <laughs> Saji! You have the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment. That the universe can truly get to work. What is up with my chalupas? Corey! He barks for nothing. I, it's annoying me too, but you know, he's been a dog. Yeah, like, um, I wish he, um, 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 when, um, Kobe, um, he's gonna buy oh, the baby of the boys, the baby of the boys. I think he's, this one is the boy that looks the most like me. They all look like their father. 
But I think he's the only boy that looks the most like me. <coughs> he looks like my papa, right? You look like my dad a little. Uh, yeah. And you look like your papa a little too. Yeah. Mm hmm. <coughs> yes. Hey, Terrors. That's YouTube. Who do you say hi to? Terrors. Terrors? Mm -hmm. Que lindo. <coughs> Go. Go over there, my love. I love you. I love you. Too. Don't let the dog annoy you. I gotta apply that for me, too. Let's go to Capricorn! Capricornio, what's poppy with you? <laughs> For the last weekend of February 2020. I'm not gonna say nothing. You're irrelevant. <laughs> not all you copies. It's for a specific copy. Capricorn was poppy with you on the last weekend of February 2020. I wonder why the dog was barking. You know, if somebody passed by your house and that person is like looking at your house and be like, that person lives there. The dog can sense that. If he's somebody that I don't like and they're going by my house, the dog can sense that. Capricorn, you have, when I think I surrender, I surrender more. Take it as it resonates, Capricorn. Aquarius. What is Papi would choose on the last weekend of February 2020? That 2020 sounds so beautiful. Everybody has baby fever. Not me. <laughs> I got six kids. I got six kids and two grandkids. Listen. I just, it wasn't even coffee because I don't drink coffee from elsewhere unless it's home. I went out with somebody for a hot cocoa. Talking about once a baby. Get to know me first, damn it. You don't want to know if I'm local first? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> oh my God. No, I did not say that. If you want to date somebody, I want to have a baby. Like, are you serious? On the first date. You scare people away like that. You know, that 2020 baby fever, keep it away from me. <laughs> I got a lot of things to do this year. I have four kids with the wrong guy. I will have one with the right guy. It has to be the right guy. I ain't trying to have a baby for child support. You know, I'm not a lesbian. I want to have kids and not be with the dad. I'm not talking shit. You no. Know? Most lesbians do that. So what? So what? They have the right to be parents too. Aquarius. You have, I choose to learn through love. You are so lovable, Aquarius, when you want to be. When you don't want to be, you're not. A toast for that. 
Mmm. Touch the crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Back up on the scene. <laughs> I am so sorry. This. This donut right here has superpowers because as I'm jumping, I knock this down. So I had to fix it. Pisces! Happy birthday to you. I'm so excited about my birthday season, you know? It's like this is this is really my first birthday season that I'm gonna be by myself. Like the last one it was. But you know, he, my ex bought me a cake. So this year, I'm, I'm not gonna see him. He's not gonna be, you know, try to be up in my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, anyways, Pisces! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Look at you, got me singing. What? <laughs> Pisces, what is your card? What does your card say for the last weekend of February 2020? I got plans for my birthday. I know that. Well, not on my actual birthday birthday. You know, I'm going to be with my kids. How many cards we got, Pisces? We got four cards. What? Alrighty, the first one goes. The universe works fast. When I'm having fun, you best believe it. It's a fact, Jack. It is. Card number two, it says, when I lean on the fate of the universe, peace becomes real. That's card number two, Pisces. Card number three goes... The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. And last but not least is when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Those were your cards, Pisceans. I gotta fix my bun. What? This is a brand new shirt. That's it. I gotta change too. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm not gonna sew nothing. I'm gonna change. I got all the stuff. I got all the stuff. <clears throat> On the last weekend of February 2020, I cannot believe. <gasps> Hold on my shirt. The whole world is gonna see it now. <laughs> Collected. This is one of my favorite cards from this deck. It goes, I am a spirit having a human experience. And I'm here to get closer to love. There you have it. Everybody. It was so beautiful read as usual. Thank you everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out about what is good 
for the last weekend of February 2020. God bless you, my loves. God bless you. God bless you more. God bless you and God bless yours. God bless you all. Have an awesome weekend. Charge your batteries so you can have an awesome week ahead. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive either. Okay, my loves. Take care. See you next time. Bye.